it's that time again. It's March. It's March 2022. So that means Marchintosh. In this video, I'm going to take some parts that I've had laying around and turn them into a functional Macintosh machine. What I have here is a Macintosh SC FDHD case. I have a Macintosh SE30 board that I recently recapped. I also have a blue SCSI, as well as a big mess of wires Rominator 2 Atom board that I'm going to install in this machine. Sit back, relax, and let's jump right into this Marchintosh 2022 video. Here are all the parts that I'll be using for my build. I have my SE30 board with 32 megs of RAM installed. I've got my blue SCSI as well as my Rominator board that I will be installing. Let's give you a close look at the SE30 board. You can see there's the stock ROM there that'll be swapped out. There's the memory. You can see the tantalum capacitors. Cleaned up the board really nice. Uh, no battery. I will put one in at a later date, um, but for now, no, because I don't want any kind of leakage, you know, by just leaving it in there. Let's see, we got my blue SCSI right here, and I will put links in the description to where you can get a blue SCSI. They're a really nice piece of kit, give you a hard drive solution, a lot less money than a SCSI to SD. And yeah, I got a 16 uh, gigabyte chip in there. Um, way more space than will be necessary but it is what it is and then here is the rominator from big mess of wires this will be replacing the stock rom i will also put a link in the description to this as well but pretty cool gives you a clean 32-bit and then of course off to the right you see my mac cracker and the mac cracker is very very important Look at this thing. Here's the part number if you want to order one. It's a T15 with a very, very long uh, shaft there so you can reach, you know, in to get the, the bolts in the handle area. So let's uh, go ahead and start that process, opening up the case and getting this thing put together. Here is the back of my case where I need to remove four screws with my Mac cracker. There is one here, here, and then the two under the handle where you need this to get way in there to reach them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those out and take the back off and show you the inside before we put the motherboard in. Here is my Mac SE FDHD open with the back off. I've got my SE30 board here. I've got the Rominator installed. Still no battery. And we're going to try to get this installed on camera and not make a mistake. First, we got to hook up the, the audio cable like so. And then you got to get this board. You got to line it up kind of in these little grooves right here. And then get the, you see these don't line up there. The board is now in. And now I have to hook up the floppy drive cable as well as plug in the SCSI cable for the blue SCSI and also put the neck board back on the neck. So let's uh, do that now. I just remembered I need to also replace the RF shielding. Adrian's favorite RF shielding. So that goes on like so. Pretty easy to do. Now I'm going to, let's see if I can do this all here in one shot. We need to put that down like so. See, is that on camera? That is pretty good. So yeah, next I got to, uh, I got to hook up the power cable 
that plugs in down there, neck board, etc. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to see if we can do this power cable and floppy cable on camera. So, power cable goes down here, like so. That is plugged in. This is the floppy cable. I got to plug that in. Down, get in there. Got to get it to line up. And I'm doing this off to the side. Trying to keep this on camera, which is a pain in the butt. And this is why a lot of the times I don't show doing actual installation on camera because it's too hard to, to get the shot just right. And yeah, I'm fiddling around with this thing. There we go. It's in. All right, that is in. I need my cable for the hard drive. So let me pause the camera here and I'll go ahead and grab that. Off camera, I went ahead and got the SCSI cable plugged in. A little tricky getting that plugged in and I didn't think you wanted to hear me grumbling on camera. So I am not including that footage, but we're going to go ahead and uh, plug in the blue SCSI board like so. It's all plugged in. It's in a nice 3D printed case, so I can just kind of have that right up in here. It's kind of hanging out. We got to plug the neck board back in. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. All right, that is plugged back in. For now, I'm just going to have the blue SCSI just kind of hanging out right here. I'll eventually, I'll double side tape or Velcro it or something down in here like this. But for now, it will be fine. So now I'm going to flip this thing around and power it on and make sure everything is working as intended. Also grab a keyboard and mouse. Okay, I've got my keyboard and mouse plugged in. I've got a power cord plugged in. I don't have the back on the case because I want to make sure everything is working before I button it up. So let's go ahead and power it on. We got the chime, awesome. We should be seeing a big mess of wires boot screen, which we are, and it's showing 24-bit mode, and that's because I need to make an adjustment in the control panel, which it will not keep um, because I don't have the battery on the motherboard. It will hold it while it's plugged in, so I'll be able to make that adjustment and reboot the machine. Uh, you can see it's loading Mac OS 7.5. .5, which is what I put on the SD card for the blue SCSI and it is taking a minute to boot because it is only in 24-bit mode but with the ROMinator it's going to give us a clean 32-bit ROM so we can enable that in the control panel which we will do here momentarily just waiting for it to boot up so there it is okay we will just to show you we'll go here about this Mac You'll see 32 megs of RAM here, and you will see that system software is using, you know, 27 megabyte, and that's where we got to go in the control panel and make a fix. So we go into memory. We turn on 32-bit addressing. We're going to go ahead and bump the cache up to 128. We are now going to reboot the machine. And it'll reboot really quick. Come back up. 32-bit mode. And the blue SCSI should come up much quicker. Welcome to Macintosh. All is good. There's the Mac OS. We should see that loading a little bit quicker. We're doing this in real time, no speed up. But so far, it looks like a success. My Macintosh SE... FDHD Stealth SE30, which I'm pretty excited about, to have a classic black and white Mac, but the fastest board you could put in a black and white Mac, which is the SE30. It should be coming up here to the desktop. And do, 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 there it is. All right, we're going to now go to about, about this Mac. 
now show 32 megs and only just under 3 megs is used for system software. So this is a success. I will get this machine buttoned up and ready to go. And with that, thank you for watching my Marchintosh 2022 video. And a quick shout out to my patrons. These are the folks that support me on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my video. And we will see you in the next one.